What's up, bros and hoes? It is your boy XHD, my fucking grizzly. Yep, stole Gecko's intro, that's right. This commentary, it's free for all bootleg using the M4A31. I don't know what the fuck it's called, I don't use regular guns, but this gameplay I am. And this commentary is going to be awesome because I got a sick topic. A while ago, you guys liked my school fights topic. I got lots of likes, lots of comments and shit. So this one is kind of similar, not exactly personal, but yeah. So this will be posted Monday. So Saturday night, uh, a friend asked me, hey, do you want to go to this thing called Winter Brawl? And I live in Minnesota, and if you don't know what that means, it means it's cold here. And there's wind, as you know, we have a cold winter basically if you're retarded and have to spell it out for you. And this thing goes on called Winter Brawl. And obviously, you're not going to know what Winter Brawl is, so I'll tell you. You know, like UFC MMA bullshit, it's pretty interesting. I like it a lot. It's like my favorite sport out there. It's like, it's fighting, okay? It's basically fighting in a cage if you don't know what UFC is or MMA, but a lot of people like it, and some people think it's boring to watch and all that shit, but personally, I like it. That would be something, you know, I consider a, something fun to watch. I get bored of watching it, too, like, too much, but, you know, live is really fun. So, if a friend of mine asked me, hey, dude, I'll oh, just, I'm apologizing now. I got a cold. So if I sound weird and sniffly and all that shit, that's why. So a friend of mine, a good friend who gave me my HDP VR, he asked, Hey man, you want to come to this fight thing? I was like, you know, hell yeah. I mean, that's that's fucking awesome. So we went we went to it. Like me, his dad, his brothers, and two other friends or whatever. And I was pumped. I was absolutely fucking stoked. I was ready to watch people pound their fucking faces in. And it was fucking awesome. The first fight was pretty interesting, but like it got stopped because the dude kicked the other dude in the nuts too, like too many times. So that kind of sucked. The second fight, there was this dude with fucking pink hair. Okay, so right away, right away, I turned to my friend. I was like, dude, the kid with pink hair is a faggot. That's the first thing I fucking said. That dude knocked the other dude out so fucking bad. He had to go to the fucking hospital. Like it was a fucking awesome fucking fight. Like if I can just count any fights that were fucking memorable, that one was fucking boss hog at all fucking fights. This dude, like the dude with the pink hair, like was a little bit taller than the other guy. He had some long fucking legs, and the other dude, um, this is the beginning of the second round. The other dude went for a takedown, and the pink hair motherfucker need him in the fucking head like jumped up kneed him flying knee and then he punched him three more times he stood then the ref guy pulled him off and then the guy with pink hair ran up the fence did a backflip then went to the middle and did another fucking backflip that was fucking fucking tits i was pumped after that i didn't like freak out or anything but i mean then they showed the replay and everyone was freaking out there's a bunch of drunk people there so actually later on a fight broke out and that was pretty funny because you know if you get a bunch of drunk ufc fans trapped in a room obviously fights are going to break out so i wasn't too surprised or whatever um i had these hicks that sat in front of me they were kind of weird like the this weird little guy he was turned around and said something weird about like the ringside girls it was kind of creepy but he was kind of funny his laugh was really funny but and the second to last fight was pretty fucking insane too because it ended in a sick ass knockout there were about 10 fights and these and these fucking girls fought like, what the hell? No one told me that. No one told me that the girls were going to fight. Some girl from Sweden got her ass kicked by a girl from Minnesota. That was pretty funny. Like, they're sweet. Like, they just look manly. Manly as fuck. I didn't want to mess with them. Ugh, gross. But, I mean, it was fun to watch. That one was interesting. There's probably one fight that I didn't like. They were, like, the 185-pounders. They were just too big to do anything. Like... I don't know, they were pussies, I could have kicked their asses, That's, I wanted to jump in, I, I said to myself, well I said to everyone, it would be cool if they like called out people from the stands to come fight, cause I would fucking do it, I'll go kick someone in the head, that would be badass, that's what I want to do, that would be fucking, what a rush, it's better than fucking Call of Duty, and I'm just playing nothing better than Call of Duty, and then the second to last fight was uh, probably my favorite, cause me and my friend stood, stood up and trip balls because that knockout was like a solid fucking knockout like just one punch the dude was fucking stone like it was crazy and then everyone started freaking out and all that the last fight went through all five rounds and these guys were a little bit bigger this one guy's name was mean bean like what the fuck kind of name is that but he was actually pretty good but he ended up losing and then i had to fucking take a piss okay so i went to you know to the urinal and I went there and I'm sitting there in the middle and I'm fucking nervous as hell. All these guys are bigger than me. I'm scared as hell. Okay. 
And I thought a fight was gonna break out in the fucking bathroom. We're all talking about, hey man, that dude sucked. No man, I know that guy. He's my fucking familia, homie. He's like, nah man, he's fucking pussy. I'll kick his ass. I was sitting there, I was like, okay, fuck this. Zipped up my pants, fucking walked out. I didn't even wash my fucking hands. That's gross. And then I went and bought some cotton candy. So I'm sitting there, walking. Everyone else has drinks and fucking beer and shit. They're just hammered. I'm just sitting there walking off my cotton candy. I thought I was fucking a badass. If anyone want to fuck with my cotton candy, I would have kicked their ass. But then I sat by this buff dude because my spot got jacked. And I'm just sitting there. He looked at me like I was a fucking fairy. Fairy at a fucking gun show. I was sitting there eating my cotton candy. Fucking. It was a blast, though. So, Alright, this video is coming to an end. I will talk to you guys later. Peace!